Hey guys, it's Instagamer, and I have a very special episode of The Sims for you today where I am going to show you a secret place in the game that you won't be able to find by yourself unless somebody tells you. Now, <laughs> You might notice this looks a little bit different, and part of what's hilarious is I don't know why our little creeper statue guy has his head right up Holly's butt. That, <laughs> I'm telling you, her butt is just trouble. Anyway, uh, you might see something special here. We have a little frog. Um, I actually recorded this episode for you already earlier today. In fact, it was an hours worth of footage that just got lost. Unfortunately, um, when I recorded the video of the gameplay, it recorded my face, but not the gameplay itself. So there are some funny moments that we won't be able to get back, but this means you can also have a much shorter video that kind of gets right to the point because what we're going to do is really exciting. So first, um, Yes, we're going to explore a secret place. First, I just want to show you what the house looks like. And I did record another episode after this, so that's why you're seeing some things in this episode, like that little frog that you haven't seen before. So I did make some changes to the house since um, the house building episode, just minor things. I changed the trim on the roof, made it more exaggerated and a little more cartoonish. It is an evil lair after all. Um, I'm gonna only show you certain rooms because there are some things I've added that I don't wanna spoil for you. So let's go down into this room. All right, now this is, <laughs> This is something I am very happy with. Now, if you have watched any of the other games in my series, like The Forest, where I am always killing bunnies, or if you've watched Five Nights at Freddy's, where bunnies are always killing me, you know I have a thing with bunnies in every game I play on this channel. I just can't escape it. So I figured, why should The Sims be any different? I put a little bunny here as a reminder to keep myself humble, because those bunnies always get me into trouble. And a couple bunnies on the wall above Holly's bed because even in her her dreams she and I are just cosmically connected and she cannot escape these bunnies and there is one little thing here that you'll see at the end of next episode um, I did give the uh, <laughs> I gave the bunny a carrot as tribute uh, so that he won't hurt me <laughs> leave me alone um you know added a few more things to the game or to the house that you'll see in the next episode like this stairway um all the railings it's looking pretty good i'm really loving what the house looks like but let's go explore our secret place we are going to travel actually it's 3 a.m She's in a good enough place, her fun isn't happy, but we will travel so that you can see this awesome hideaway. And that rabbit is actually, the rabbit that I showed you, is a bit of a teaser because the place I'm going to take you to, at least for me, reminds me a lot of Alice in Wonderland. So this should be a fun little episode that's also going to be beautiful. So in the other episode, it took me a while to find this place because I had heard of it but didn't know where to find it exactly. But now you guys just get to jump right to the good part. We are in, um, we're going to Willow Creek and we are going to Crick Cabana. And it's gonna be interesting doing this at night because it's so pretty during the day. I have not done it at night, so we'll see how it looks. Hopefully by the time we're done, it'll turn into day. Oh, I can't show you part of it. There's um, this tree. You have to go through a whole process of like viewing the tree, then watering the tree, then complimenting the tree's leaves um, to make it finally open up to you. And this door is originally covered, but now it is open. And once you try to go, let's just chat to the tree for a minute. Um, once you go into the tree, I don't know if it'll do it again for us, but it takes you on a journey where you, it gives you these pop-ups and you have to choose all these different options to get to a secret Lamp. place called Sylvan Glade. Haraza, <laughs> Urizap. Now I do believe I have screenshots ah, of it, so I'll try to show that to you guys. 
Um, let's travel. Actually, what I'll do Zombie. is I'll explore so you can see how we get there. Huh. Ooh. So see her climbing into the tree? Ooh. This one's just like, what the fuck? What's going on? Who the hell just goes into a tree? Tree adventure. The trunk is a lot bigger than anticipated. It's dark, but somehow not scary. A faint glow is the only light. A rolling burble, the only sound. Hopefully that burble is not from this waterway that is behind us. So since we just came in from a place that's like light and went into a place that's dark, we're not going to follow the light because I don't want to come back out. We are going to follow the sound. And she's just going to go through there, and this one's just going to check her phone. Just just photobomb the scene, why don't you? Yeah, is your cell phone good? Is that interesting for you? Is this tree fun? Holly delves a bit deeper and a bit darker. That's what he said. A soft splash tells her that she has just stepped into a shallow stream. We are going to follow downstream because I'm thinking just like Alice going down the rabbit hole this will take us to where we need to go this one mm -hmm. maybe she's sending angry mm. text messages that guy too on his phone uh, taking the path of least resistance and hoping that it doesn't terminate at a sewer main Holly is distracted by an ethereal mist glowing ominously we are going to enter the mist Look at these mushrooms and just how beautiful this tree is. The mist is warm and friendly as far as mists go. Without warning, Holly feels the sensation of being spun around. An exit to the cave now staring her in the face. So now we are going to travel to a wondrous place called Sylvan Glade. Now I'm just telling you, close your eyes so that you can see this fresh and open them when I tell you to. Open. Is this not the most beautiful foresty place you have ever seen? Look at it, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Of course she's on her phone, which somehow turned pink. I just think this place is magical. This is the tree we came in from. I mean, look at it. We can't catch butterflies or anything like you could in The Sims 2, but there are little hidden things like looking for frogs. Normally, uh, these are scattered throughout the game, but they're not pink and crystally like this. We have some pear trees and some other normal things too. We're going to explore and see what secrets we can find here. Ooh, haspa. Holly found a surfer eggplant frog. That's interesting. What is this? A plant, a wild lily flower. We can't harvest it. Tons of wild plants. Just beautiful. I mean, it's really just a feast for the eyes. Let's take a closer look. I mean, look how happy she is. You see that smile. She loves this place. Oh, Kwambu. <gasps> Regirau. striped eggplant frog. Cool. We can also have her fish. Now I did do this a little bit in the episode you guys didn't get to see. So um, her skills are up a little higher now than they were when she first started and had none. So we'll see what she finds. Look at the little pink fishing ah. rod. Isn't it cute? Did she catch something? No. I 
And what's more is, look at this. Look at this beautiful waterfall. We're gonna go fish there next. So I'm gonna speed up this fishing a little bit. Hopefully she'll catch something. Maybe? Yeah. Awesome. So we're gonna stop fishing here and we are gonna go... Can we get anything from here? No? I really wish we could harvest a magical flower from here. We're gonna have her go fishing by this magical waterfall. Oh, that's creepy. Do you see the creepy eyes here looking at us? I wonder, I didn't notice that the first time I was here. I wonder, I wonder how many little hidden secrets they have like that in here. There's another one. See, they were definitely eyes. They even shut. Can we go there? Out of bounds. Come on, Holly, catch us something good. She caught something. Okay, so I think that's all there is for what there is to explore here, but we are going to just look around a little bit, see if there's anything else, like those creepy eyes right there that were looking at us that we are missing. I hear like wind chimes. Do you hear that? It's almost like there's little orbs. I, w I wonder if you could build a home here. I'm telling you, when she finds her special sim, either they are getting married here or at least at least going on a date here because it's just beautiful. All right, I think we're back at the tree that we would come to to leave. Yep, that is the tree. All right, so we're gonna head back, but before we do, I just wanna take a look in her inventory and see what she found. Some of this is from the last time. Um, striped eggplant frog, super eggplant frog. What fish did she catch though? Where did those go? I think we might only be able to catch or see the fish from the house. So we are going to end this episode here, guys. I'm so glad I got to show you this special, beautiful place. It is just amazing. You know, I'm going to have to spend some more time here just because. I really love how it looks. It's just so beautiful. And to me, it does have a little bit of that Alice in Wonderland vibe. It is a little empty. I didn't find any other secrets here, but maybe if you buy this game, you will find some and you can tell me what you find or if you're aware of any. I would love to know. I'd love to see them add more to this area. I don't know if they will, but I just think it is a place of dreams. It is so beautiful. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.